Previously on The Potentialists. I can't keep up. Can you keep up? Apparently Val has locked herself in the shower. Hey, there's so many police. All the planes are being placed in one area. But they're all laughing. <laughs> This door doesn't open. You're kind of a dick. So get used to it. I'm gonna be a forever. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Mr. Serge is making his phone calls. He doesn't like dogs barking, people walking by, nobody making a sound, this music has to be turned off. However, when we're inside our office, his laugh can be heard by the person on the other phone. Take it down like 15 decibels. But they're all laughing. I'm not the only, this is a mixed laughter. The only laughter that is heard in there. No, 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 you know what it is? It's being carried by the other you laughter there. That's the problem. When yes, you're on the phone and if anybody <laughs> makes any kind of noise or anything, it's <laughs> 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 You just laugh and you talk and you distract people Excuse and it's me? like my freaking god. It's a pot calling the kettle black and sometimes I want to shut the pot up in your <laughs> No need for all that aggression. All it would take would be search. I'm on the phone. I'm gonna be on the How phone. How if we're on the it's, phone? No, I don't know. Dude, it's not even on the phone. I don't be, But I'm that's not, not the, the issue. Phone. The d head attitude that comes when you're making no. your call. No, that is not gonna change. I'm on the phone, I'm gonna be a dick forever. End of story, it's not gonna change. And that so, is why he's not closing. <laughs> no. So you're either gonna be a dick while you're on the phone and then hold back your laughter, or you're not gonna hold back your laughter no, no, and you no. can continue being a dick. Which one is it? But you no. can't have both. No, 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 no. I, I, I've heard the message. I Maybe. thank you, I appreciate this. Maybe. I will try to help out so that I don't become a distraction. I don't wanna be a distraction. I wasn't on the phone by the way. Because I don't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I will work on it because I do not want to be a distraction to anyone. And I appreciate your position because I would want the same courtesy. So, thank you. I know a lot of people don't understand what it is about LJ that gets us to the place where we're angry and then he just justifies everything. And I wanted to clarify that a little bit so that people understand that. For me, the biggest thing is when he's done something wrong and you bring it up to his attention, he literally just walks away from you and starts like, mocking you. He'll walk away rudely. Even if he's in the office, he'll put on his headphones, he'll turn around, and he'll ignore you. I find it to be very disrespectful. And he does that to me almost on a daily basis. He means well, but it's mostly his delivery thing. You know, he has valid points whenever he's giving constructive criticism, but the way he gives constructive criticism isn't so constructive, it's more... <laughs> Obnoxious. It makes you feel bad about yourself. You're like, your, your knee-jerk reaction is to be defensive. You want to say, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, you know, he means what he's trying to help, but it just, it comes off as he's being a dick, and... He really is being he a dick. He is being, yeah. The problem is, and I think that everybody, what everybody is seeing is the fact, like, when I first came and started working for Boa, like, full-time being here all the time, it seemed like everybody was being incredibly, incredibly harsh with him. You and Bert, like, had no patience with him, like, he would screw up a little bit, and it'd be like, you'd slam him. And then I started noticing, when he started doing it to me, it's these little, insidious, little things that he does all the freaking time, and he never, ever changes or learns or tries to do anything, so it builds up into this thing where you just want to freaking kill him. And when then he turns his back. Right. <laughs> Funny, I was I had the same thing. I, I was always defending him to Bert, and until I happened to see videos from almost four years ago, three or four years ago, that was the same exact action, same exact attitude. I realized this is a pattern. This is just not yeah. an isolated mean, incident. The whole thing is, I love him to death. He's talented as sh and I want him to stay on the team because he's a really a valuable asset. But a lot of times his attitude undermines what we're trying to do. He's just not being helpful. And on top of that, he's actually not even showing what we're teaching at BOA because he's not taking into himself to try to change. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?